There's definitely nothing jumping out in her lab. Box Krog is fine. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, definitely nothing jumping out in her lab. I know it's instantaneous. Let's just jump straight back to that bloody. What was it? The clinic. Maybe he's got an office. We, we, we've bumped into him in the middle of the damn station. We should have really looked to see if he had an office somewhere. See if he had anything that could be used against this doctor. Eh? Or even, actually, against him because he's selling drugs from a UC facility. Ugh, back we go. Hey Vasco. Yeah, I did a terrible job of shaking him down. He might have had bloody Okay, consolation guide. Five percent more effective healing guides. Items. Nice. Alright. Yeah, okay, this is your area, so that's fine. Hi. How's that? That's clinic stuff. Where is he? This was the room he was in, so this is the room I'll alien check pathogen we discovered first. It's just a little more job security. Got to look on the bright side, right? Hi guys, I'm the, I'm just looking. When I for... told them I was good with computers, I didn't think they'd trust me with the entire clinic. All right, I'm just looking for something I dropped. Uh, I I had a, this was my last job. I I think I dropped uh, my data pad for the next job I just I was in here it's not on my ship I've done a deep scan got my robot to look for it oh I think that's it there thank you what's this don't appreciate you trying to change the terms of a deal so I'm going to pretend you didn't mention it I'll be sending a courier to pick up supplies as usual have them ready as soon as possible Clint's not going to miss them med packs antibiotics bandages IV kit style saline tropical antimicrobial sutures if you're having any misgivings and need motivation, I advise you to keep the following in mind. First, I mean, work for the fleet, but these are people too. Second, and all about your sort of little habit. I was there. You know, there. The only reason you ended up where you did in life is because you're damn good at hiding it. So let's get one thing straight. If you ever think you need that, you ever think you can charge me to fund your dirty little secret, think again. I will stick to the deal. I'll make sure Dr. Darvish finds out exactly who is nursing her patients, Mina. Hmm. Okay, that's... Yeah. Thanks, guys. I found, found it. Da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. Hey. Mm -hmm. Captain Tom, greetings. Come on, Vasco. We're done. Right, what we need is, I've been an idiot, because Lieutenant Toff, or should I say Lieutenant Toff, but gave me a tracker for when I have uh, stuff to hand in. Where is it? If I activate it in my activities section, it normally... Takes me to him. Really? Have I run out? Yeah, so I can be quick out and whatever. Okay. Oh, damn it. Well, let's just hope they're still in Sagan then. Yeah, that's hope, burden of proof. Return evidence. Oh, it's gone back in there now. Fine, whatever. Set cars. They are still in Sagan. That's good. Let's go.
Right, Vasco, this is the last time. This this is indeed the last time. We uh won't be coming back with evidence after this. Can't see there being any evidence on the uh the legacy. Other than the legacy itself, I mean, as well as that's evidence. So we might be coming back here with more evidence, but we'll be coming back here anyway for the for the attack. Let's get on board. Go say hello. It's a big ship, that thing. I mean, I know the. Uh, I know the uh, sting is getting a bit fat with all the extra stuff that's on it, but still. Vasco, stay here. Oh, hello. Captain Tom, do you require my assistance? Um, no, not right now. In fact, though, I'm going to take you back to New Atlantis. After this, I'm going to let you stay at the lodge. Because greetings, I don't... Captain. Yeah, greetings, Vasco. Let me just explain. I don't want to take the risk that that uh, EM technology doesn't work and you get fried. We we're talking about a planet that fries electronics. And last time I checked, my friend, you're electronic. So, yeah, I think we're going to Hello. go back. Hey. <laughs> no. Excuse me. You're excused. All right. Vasco is not getting fried. Hi there. I saw one of the ensigns get an Alpha Centauri from Officer Petrosian the other day. The man takes his job very seriously. Thanks. Nice to know. Hey, how you doing? Okay, hello. <laughs> okay, they're getting sick of my uh, flirting now, aren't they? Where is the lieutenant? Oh, lefty lieutenant. Lieutenant lefty. We hunt piracy all across the galaxy. Good. <clears throat> oh, right there. Lieutenant in front of me. is as organized as they come. Good. You can be sure she'll keep our teeth crossed. Need anything before you head to Vanek? Eight those alien plants we picked up on the last mission. I've got more evidence for you. Drive. I only did that once. Good. The more you find, the stronger our case. Anything. Oh, I've got tons of it. Right, and... Whoa, how much have I got? Alright, Neva, or Neva. She isn't finished with the base on Crete. The one where I bumped into them. I have to hand it to Neva Mora. The lady's thorough. That facility on Crete still holds a good bit of valuable resources and equipment. Alright, can't do much with this one except pass it over to the military. Hopefully, they stop denying the base's existence and do something about it. Is that <laughs> it? Uh, nope. I've got uh, some evidence describing what happened to the cargo freighter uh, chiropractor. Or chiropterra. Good. When Sisdef stumbled across the wreckage of the ship, we were sure it was the Crimson Fleet, but we could never prove it. We found 32 dead colonists in that wreckage. Poor crew must have put up a hell of a fight. At least their families will now have some closure. Have any more? Mm. Depends what you mean by closure. They know who killed them, but until we turn around and say we arrested or killed them, they're not going to have closure. Right. Um, well, let's put it this way. The key is a bit... Well, you go in the bar and just sit there and listen long enough, you hear them bragging about their cock-ups, and, well... Uh, they... There's a... Someone dropped this intel about a shipment of stolen chunks. A hot tip, huh? What kind of idiot would dig in their heels waiting for a massive payout on some of the cheapest food in the settled systems? Yep. I've seen some strange things on this assignment, but this definitely tops the list. I'll, uh, pass it on to my superiors. I'm sure they'll get right on it. Find <laughs> anything else? Yeah, they've been, uh, well, there's uh, somebody at the clinic, one of the doctors at the clinic's got an Aurora problem and he got involved with the 
Crimson Fleet, and now they're putting the pressure on him, and I've just done it so I could get the evidence. They're putting the pressure on him to um, get supplies from the clinic. Damn it. I knew those supplies had to be coming from somewhere, but I never expected them to be leaking directly from the clinic. <sighs> I'll have to contact Mast and let them deal with this. Free Star Collector territory is out of my jurisdiction. Any other fragments? No, I, I, I mean, there's a guy on Neon wants me to help him manufacture artificial aurora. Well, it's all artificial, but you know what I mean? It's not the, the legal stuff, and he wanted his cut in with the pirates, but that's all I have for now. Understood. Keep searching, and you're bound to find more. Hopefully. By the way, can I ask you how... Commander Candy saved your life. That's what you were telling me last time we spoke. I suppose. Though the commander won't be thrilled that I told you, so keep it to yourself. I really should take so, this somewhere else. When I was running with the Crimson Fleet, I put together a hell of a crew. Six of the toughest pirates I could find. Okay. I mean, why do you think he'll mind if I know about this? Considering that I share your history now on the record it's against regulations my personnel profile is private and you need the proper authorization to access the file off the record commander akande isn't exactly popular at mast for the way he runs his operation so he likes to keep these things quiet because they the use it against that an him pirate is second in command to sis death's pride and joy wouldn't inspire waves of confidence from his superiors yeah So, you had six separate pirates. I've been... Surely you were looking over your shoulder the whole time back in that game. Oh, absolutely. I couldn't take my eyes off of any of them for even a second. Imagine trying to get some shut-eye on a ship like that. Didn't sleep much, I can assure you. My first mate was Arya Fikes, the toughest of the bunch. The only problem was that she had a hell of a temper. The smallest things could just... Set her off, and believe me, she took a while to cool down. Hmm. But you must have had a reason to select her. Honestly, she was so overbearing, she kind of fell into the role on her own. I didn't even make it official for months. Huh. Despite her temper, she always had my back and helped me keep the rest of the crew in line. Of course, it also helped that she was the best pilot in the fleet. She flew rings around what Sis Def was throwing at us back then. Right. So, bit of a hot rod, was she? <sighs> yeah, but, but it still sounds a little risky to make someone like that your first mate. Surely she had designs on your job. Well, the positives outweighed the negatives at first. Anyway, there was this one particular incident where we had a hot tip on a freighter supposedly running heavy with war. The mm. second we dropped out of grav space, we knew it was a trap. We'd been set up, and the UC was waiting for us. Somehow we managed to take out all of their attack ships. I grabbed Arya, and we boarded the freighter. Okay. Where did such a terrible tip originate? Well, it showed up on Shinya Voss's mission board, which means it could have come from anywhere. <laughs> I don't know what he's like now, but back then, all of his missions were pretty solid leads with good pay. Right. So, there's only the two of you boarding. I mean, I would... Well, it is pretty brave. I mean, I would say I'm pretty brave, but I'm normally pretty stupid. So... Also, I have my special powers that you know about. It wasn't brave. It was arrogant. Mm. We fought our way to the bridge and the crew surrendered. That's when the vigilance arrived. I watched it vaporize my ship and crew in seconds. Commander Akande radioed over for us to give up, turn ourselves in. Arya went wild. Said she'd start executing crew if they didn't let us leave. The commander tried to talk some sense into her, but she was too far gone. I knew right then she'd rather die than surrender. All right. Okay, that's... Why didn't you side with her? Because you were more sensible. 
I'm gonna go with that, yeah? Even as a pirate, I have my limits. Yeah. I never shoot someone that was unarmed and couldn't fight back. As long True. as they surrendered and gave up the goods, there was no need for them to die. You were never really a pirate then, were you? You were a thief, I suppose. Any other options? None at all. We were marooned on that freighter. No ship, no escape shuttles, and no chance of rescue. Ah, uh, so killing the... Killing the, uh... Civilians was pointless. I mean, if the... Especially, I mean, if the freighter was, uh... Too damaged to grab jump, it's not like you could have fled in that, either. <sighs> Trying to make the best of the situation. Left it behind. I mean... Yeah, as you say, you don't execute civilians, so that put you in a bit of a bind, really, in a terrible position. You can't even imagine. Commander Akande promised to be lenient if we let the crew go. When we didn't reply, he sent over a ship to board us. I saw Arya put her gun to one of the hostages' heads. I saw that look in her eye. I could actually see her squeezing the trigger. Next thing I knew, uh. a shot rang out. Yeah. I'll never forget that look on Arya's face as she fell to the ground with the wound in her chest. Looked you did down it. at the gun in my hand like it belonged to someone else. I... I still don't know why I did it. <sighs> because... She wasn't your friend. She was your... Second in command who wanted your job. She was a pirate. And you didn't realise that you weren't a pirate until you were forced into a situation where you had to choose between behaving like one and not behaving like one. And then you did what you had to do. You defended the innocent and that's probably how you ended up wanting to become a soldier. That's what I keep telling myself. <laughs> I hope to God we're both right. Long story short, I spent a year in jail, then Keepway recruited me. I guess he saw something in me. A desire to turn my life around. I busted my ass to get where I am today. First mate of the Vigilance. Ironic I'd end up in Arya's position, don't you think? Hmm. He seems to have made the right decision, though. Because... You did the honorable thing. She didn't. So that's why you know his is the right choice and yours... Yours was the right choice, and hers wasn't. It took a while, and a lot of reflection, but... I know he made the right choice. So Had did I you. continued down the road I was traveling back then, we wouldn't be speaking right now. Hmm. I owe everything to Commander Akande for giving me a second chance. According to my superiors at MAST, we've provided them enough data to wrap up this portion of the operation and call it a success. You've brought us a mountain of evidence against the Crimson Fleet, and uncovered Good. some unexpected criminal activity. You've done a hell of a job. Thanks. But... I mean... I think we made a difference. Did we make as big a difference as I wanted? Because I let a, I let a couple of the white-collar criminals get away with their evidence on that bloody ship. Did we make the difference? Oh, yeah, without a doubt. The brig is filled with prisoners waiting for trial. We've drained the Crimson Fleet's credits and solved a few mysteries along the way. I'd say that qualifies as making a difference. Good. Well, it is the right thing to do, and it was the right thing to do, and it will continue to be the right thing to do. Oh? Well, I see we've rubbed up on you more than I expected. <laughs> anyway, here. I wanted to give you this. It isn't from Commander Akande or the UC. It's from me. It was my sidearm when I ran with the Crimson Fleet. Something special I paid a hell of a lot of money for. Now it's yours. Uh... I do feel bad I didn't get anything for you. This... This mutual crush thing we've got going on is a bit awkward now. Not true. You gave me hope. That's the best present I could ever ask for. <clears throat> All right, enough of this mushy nonsense. Time to get back to work. You don't like the mushy nonsense either. Yeah, I I know how you feel. I know how you feel. 
I made I made Sarah uncomfortable with the mushy nonsense as well. And, <laughs> and she made me uncomfortable. That's two good looking ex military women. Oh well one's still military. I've made uncomfortable. <laughs> right. Delgado no this is any of these been updated? No. Okay, what was the gun? I don't I'm 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 just going to have a look at this gun. In here. That's why I've come in here. I don't want anyone thinking I'm up to no good. Right. It must have a shooting range on this ship. Memento Mori. A legendary pistol. Hmm. High-powered, cornered, demoralizing, crippling. Ooh. That is a pretty decent thing. Nice. Let me have a look at this. And it's got got the ammo count left on the, the gun. Um, can I go and find... Nice work on the side. Target. Oh, yeah. Keep this up and this operation might finally get the folks at Mast to shift resources. I'll yeah, thanks. You're welcome. Along. Good. Yes. Oh. Uh, hi. Where's the target range? Docking parts. Actually, who have they managed to get hold of? Hey, how you doing? How's the pirating business? Pretty good, actually. All right, who have they? Okay, who have they managed to get into this brig? Requires the computer, does it? What's in there? Uh, oh, storage. That'd be fine. Drank too much coffee last night. I need to swap shifts. Desperate for the low way and you gotta stand there on guard. <laughs> silly, silly man. Right. So who've we got? Got a few, haven't we? Double check in a minute. Hey, how you doing? Yes, what? I just are you finished with the uh commander? Not the commander, the I heard you had to board the Siren of the Stars. I was on there once, for a tribute to my ancestor. I never felt more out of place. <laughs> hey, I'm in. As a former me, convict, you've seen the inside of a cell. Stay out of mine and we'll get along just fine. Yeah. Hey, by the way, I've been to Suvarov as part of my undercover work. I, I just, if you've got any questions about the place. Really? I know you were headed to the key, but... I didn't realize you'd actually get a chance to visit the lock. I almost respect the fleet for doing that. They're trying to pass down their history. Or their version of it anyway. Yeah. Eh. <laughs> you respect the fact they take them down there? I mean, I get where you're getting from with the whole history thing. I respect the principle of teaching one's history. It makes me think Delgado wants the fleet to be more than just space pirates. Mm, when you connect maybe. the past with the future, you're trying to create a culture. A through line between you and Jasper Cricks. True. But it's... I'm not sure about that. I think he wants the lost treasure more than anything. And how many times has he done that previously with other recruits? No. I'd say this was one part scavenger hunt, three parts history lesson. But all yeah. that aside, give me your honest opinion. What were the conditions like? Okay. Um. By the way, he didn't do that with anybody else because he didn't have the key or the code to open the door to get into it. Uh... It was creepy and old, felt like a ghost of the past were looming over me. Rough, what I, but what I'd expect for maximum insecurity. Uh, see, this is the question, isn't it? 
I don't know how they were treated properly. I've only got their words and the guard's words. Now, the guards were, you know, make, complaining about a lack of resources and the, and obviously the prisoners were saying it was absolutely terrible because it was so Are you cold. Going to finish that thought? Yes. I'm going to go with rough, but it is sort of what I'd expect from a maximum security prison. Apart from the underfunding bit. Truth be told, my ancestor was a guard on Suvorov. Part of the reason I joined Sysdef was to find out more about his experience, and whether the history books told the whole story. Which is why I'd like to hear Crix's side of it, if just to confirm what you saw. Yeah. I mean, he says that prisoners were tortured. So it's true. Yeah. All my life I've been led to believe the guards on the lock were heroes. But there was part of me that always doubted the story. Even as a child learning about the history from the slates. Thank you for bringing me this. I get that Crix is about as unreliable a witness as they come, but... I believe him. Yeah, it's the... It's the bits and pieces of it all, isn't it? I mean... Like in that in this interview when he's talking about his version of what happened on the station that got attacked in the UC's version. I can sort of get behind believing him sometimes and not. I mean, as they say, even a stopped clock is right two times a day. Although how that works on in space with multiple you planets have permission or multiple... to speak. I suggest you use it. Sorry, that's because I'm talking to you. Um right. Why is the history of the lock so important to you? Because it isn't just any history. It's my family's. Yeah. If you open up a history slate and look up the name Garo Petrosian, you'll find a hero decorated in medals. Medals he earned for escaping the riots on Suvorov. Oh, right. Okay. So, one of your ancestors. My great-grandfather, to be exact. Okay. He lived until the year 2297, ten years after I was born. So that means he would be your great-grandfather in terms of, like, your grandfather's father. Just double-checking because people of British heritage just use great-grandfather for everybody. You know, we don't say great-great-great-great or anything like that. We just say great-grandfather. Um... Why was he awarded medals? For helping his fellow guards escape the riots. Okay. And maybe that part is true, but it conveniently skips everything that happened before that point. No one ever asks what prompted the riots. It was just criminals being criminals. And that was explanation enough. Yeah. No offense, I hadn't heard of him, but then again talking about 100 years ago and one man who's not like a leader so people forget the names of presidents and prime ministers so it's no no wonder they forgot the name of a soldier sorry but i haven't heard of him it's been almost a century so that doesn't surprise me but in some circles it carries weight the thing is even as my family rode the coattails of our name i always felt like something wasn't right about the story and it always came back to that day in the yard, playing games with my brother. It's the only memory I have of my great-grandfather that sticks. Yeah. Do you f fear that you got this position because of your name? I'd like to say no. But how can that be true? Pursuing a military career, the name could only help. Okay. What's this memory? Childhood memories aren't that reliable. No, all memories aren't reliable because they're covered by, uh, colored by emotion. Childhood memories just have more emotion coloring them. Sorry. Tell me about this it memory. It was about a week before he passed. Me and my brother had the house to ourselves and were playing a game we called Prisoner's Run. It was a simple game. 
we drew a line in the dirt, and the object was for the guard to keep the prisoner from crossing it. But on that day, my brother came to the yard with an added surprise. Hmm. He found a chest in the attic, filled with goodies, a baton, a uniform, and a medal to serve as prize for the winner. Right. The medal he got from escaping the riots, I'm going to assume. Indeed. But as boys, we didn't connect the dots. After all, why would something so precious be stuffed in the attic? But when our family returned, I knew something was wrong. My great-grandfather didn't say a word, but behind his eyes I could see it. The mm. shame. No one said anything to either of us. But the next day, the uniform and the medal were gone. At the time, I never understood why he kept those things buried in the attic. Now, it all seems so clear. Well, that doesn't mean that he was a bad man. He could have still been a hero. I mean, he was definitely a hero to his fellow guards helping them escape. There's no guarantee he knew about any of the torture or was responsible. We just don't know enough about anything. Maybe not a bad man, but a hero? Hard to say. Hmm. Either way, thanks for talking this through with me. I don't know if I'll ever know what really happened on Suvorov, but at least now, I have something beyond the family myth. <laughs> well, you're welcome, Armin. By the way... I appreciate you bringing me that audio log. Crix may be biased, but that doesn't mean he's a liar. Not a problem. Uh, I'm... You're dismissed. Thank you. I'm just going to uh, go and see who we've got. Who have we got? <laughs> hey, Adler. <laughs> Hi. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. I swear, this is all just a big misunderstanding. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Why would you be happy to see me? Because he wants to kill me. Go on, tell me. Oh. Well, I just figured we got along so well back there in Sidonia. You might remember everything that I did for you and return Can you believe later. this? I know you were just doing your job, so I'm not going to hold that against you. I could really use the help. <laughs> you do know that I found solid evidence. You know that data pad you left right behind you that I spotted once I poked my head to the side? It was a bit obvious where you left it. Me? Commit a crime? Oh, you have it all wrong. Do you have any idea how tough it is to earn your way in Sidonia? Either you spend all day in the mines getting your lungs filled with Martian dust, or wear your fingers to the bone working on machinery. All I was <laughs> trying to do was earn a living. Display a little bit of uh, entrepreneurial spirit. If yeah. trying to make a living is considered breaking the law, then lock me up and throw away the key. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, just cooperate with them. Maybe they go easy on you. Can't, can't see it, though. That's all you're going to say to me? Okay. Fine. You're welcome. I'll tell you this, though. <laughs> the UC can't hold me forever. And when I get out, first thing I'm going to do is hunt you down. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, did you ever hear from Carl Fielding? That drunken miner? No. Whatever you said to him must have sunk in because I haven't seen him since you left Sidonia. <laughs> He's lucky. If he would have stumbled into this spear begging for credits again, I would have... Well, use your imagination. Okay, well, well done for saying that in front of the cameras. Where did they get you? Right at the broken spear in front of everyone. And the reputation I may have had there is long gone thanks to that little stunt. On top of that, they caught me right in the middle of a... deal. I was closing with some long haulers. I guess I can kiss that money goodbye. Well, thanks for saying that in front of the cameras. By the way, we're taking the Crimson Fleet down, so 
You're kind of lucky that you're in here, because you're going to live long enough to want your revenge. Are you serious? You actually expect hmm. me to be grateful? No. I don't know Sistef's endgame, but I'd wager that you've bitten off far more than you can chew. No matter what you throw at the fleet, Delgado will find a way out. <laughs> so well, you say. That was a waste of time. Like everything else in your life. Right. Uh, who else have we got? Oh, you're still here. Hi. Ooh. Estelle, what are you doing in the dark? Hi. Well, look who it is. Come down here to gloat? Well, I just thought I'd look at the prettiest prisoner. Why not? Maybe just a little. Well, why not? You should take pride in your job. I do. After all, you have to make sure that the notorious Crimson Fleet Captain from Neon gets roasted alive by a UC adjudication committee, right? Hey, maybe you should sell tickets to the little zoo you've created on this ship. Then everyone can point and stare. <laughs> uh, zoo? Uh, more of a menagerie. Look around, you moron. I'm talking about this brig you're using to display us like trophies. <laughs> Calling me the moron and you don't even know what a man manager is. That's okay. Oh, you know it wasn't personal. I actually quite uh, like you. You're one of the most sensible ones I've met. Oh, drop the act, will you? Back on Neon? You pretended to give a shit about me. You could have ratted me out to bay you, but you didn't. Then, without warning, you yanked the rug right out from underneath me. <laughs> You've been stringing me along like this is some kind of sick game. People don't do that to each other. Yeah. Look, you can whine all you want. You're just angry you were caught. At the end of the day, I took the attitude of you were better off in this cell than at the end of a plank being, let's say, concrete booted into the ocean at uh, Bayou's request. So, you're just angry you were caught, but at least you're alive. Bye-bye. And there's your true colors. <sighs> Let's just cut to the chase, all right? If you want to come down here and ask me stupid questions, I can't stop you. But that doesn't mean we have to be friends, and that damn well doesn't mean I have to like it. <laughs> oh, dear, dear. Where did they get you? Yeah. Sure. Why not? Not like I'm needed anywhere else right now. I was drinking in Euphorica, and Micah warned me that UC security was scouring the city asking about me. I knew sneaking to my ship would be impossible, so I did the best I could to find somewhere to hide. Unfortunately, it wasn't good enough. Sistef caught me in a sleep crate and dragged me to the vigilance. Oh dear. Oh dear, dear. What about the data from Genodyne, then? Did Bayou get you? Oh, I bet you'd love to know. I got a good chunk of Genodyne's database before Bayou's goons ripped it out of the system. As far as what happened to it, there's no way I'm gonna tell you. Or anyone else that's Sistef. Maybe I'll keep that little nest egg for the bargaining table at my sentencing. Maybe not. <laughs> Hope that drives you crazy. Not really. Just so you know, you're going to be in here because we're taking down the Quit fleet. Quit playing games and spit it out already. I just did. Are you out of your mind? I make my own choices, thank you very much. I don't need to be rescued by you or anyone else. Let's hmm. face it, the only favors you've done are for yourself. Um, yeah, survival of the fittest, and that usually means the smartest. Bye-bye. We're done? Good. Good. You're not quite as good looking when you scowl. <laughs> anyone else? Let's see if they've got anyone upstairs. No, not yet. I should have put my torch on. But cry, baby. Oh, there's your man. No, I'm not interested in talking to you. Bye bye.
<laughs> you know what you touch on? Should make her put the light on, you know. Make her put the light on. Right. So that's it. We've handed in all the evidence we can get. Hopefully, while we're off uh, Bannock 4. Hopefully, yeah, hopefully, while we're off at Bannock 4. Captain Tom, it is pleasant to see you. Good. Vasco, my friend, I need you to come with me. I'm going to leave you somewhere safe. <laughs>